Story 6. Billy Bunny and Billy Goat. It was a bright and beautiful sunny morning as Billy Bunny hopped out of the woodpile where he had slept all night and started off on his journey of adventure. He had only gone a little ways when all of a sudden from behind a bush out jumped a big billy goat. He had a long goatee and he looked very fierce. And when he lowered his head and pointed his horns at the little rabbit, how do you suppose Billy Bunny felt? Well, he felt just like a piece of paper all crinkled up. He was so scarified. And so would you, for that goat's horns were as sharp as needles. Stop! Stop! cried the little rabbit. Don't you know who I am? Billy Bunny's my name from Old Briar Patch, Snake Fence Corner. And then he handed his card to the angry billy goat, who ate it up without even reading it. Wasn't that rude in him? I don't like your card a bit, said the goat. It tastes like peppermint. Of course it did, for the little rabbit carried his striped candy cane in his front paws, and some of the candy came off on them and got on to the card when he handed it to Billy Goat. If you had read it, you wouldn't have tasted the peppermint, said Billy Bunny politely, not wishing to make the goat feel badly. Well, by this time the goat had raised his head, and so his sharp horns didn't point at Billy Bunny, which made him feel lots better. Then he opened his knapsack and took out an apple pie and gave it to the goat who ate it up two and a half bites, and then asked for more. Sorry, but that's all I have, said the little rabbit. Would you like a lollipop? And when that was all gone, the little rabbit brought out a chocolate cake, and the goat ate that up just as fast. What else have you? asked the goat, wiping the crumbs from his goatee and peeking over Billy Bunny's shoulder. I've got a pair of rubber boots, said the little rabbit. And would you believe it? That goat ate those rubber boots up too, and then asked for more. Oh dear, oh dear, sighed Billy Bunny. And he hunted all through his knapsack again until he found a policeman's whistle. That's all I've got left, Mr. Billy Goat. Well, I'll eat that for dessert. And the hungry, starving goat commenced to eat that whistle as though he hadn't tasted any kind of food for a year and five minutes. But would you believe me again? That whistle began to whistle, and this so scared the billy goat that he ran away. And if that whistle doesn't keep me awake all night so that I'll have to sleep all day tomorrow... I'll tell you in the next story how Billy Bunny went to see his kind Uncle Lucky. Mm -hmm.